Some quick tips that will help you in the field are rail brackets. Rail brackets are designed with a notch in them so you can help plumb your rail wall. These notches are on each standoff. Shims required for jack post and cylinder bracket. Inside the box you're going to find two or three shims depending on the cylinder size. You're going to have a half inch and two quarter inch shims. You're going to take a half inch and quarter inch shim and place it between the jack post and the jack post bracket. This is required for every job that you do with Cambridge Elevator. Now if you have an 80 mil cylinder, take the quarter inch shim and place that between the cylinder bracket and cylinder to keep it true and plump. If you're on a 90 mil, you do not require a shim. When roping the shackles, please make sure that the two brake cables are pulled forward and in front when roping. If the cables are behind the shackles, you're going to want to re-rope this as it will get snagged on the cylinder head when coming down. Brake adjustment. Here is your brake assembly. It is held on by four 916 bolts. Loosen the four 916 bolts and push the brake block towards the rail wall. Insert the brake shim between the brake block and the back of rail. This is your brake shim tool located in every white envelope set to sight. Here I'm just showing you that the brake shim in between the brake block. Make sure that when you insert that, you do pull back on the brake block nice and tight and then re-fasten down the 916 bolt to loosen to secure the block into place. Adjusting rollers. Here you see the cream rollers. They are never to be adjusted on site. Your blue rollers are in eccentric shafts and should be opened up before installing on the rails. And then re-tighten down so there's some friction when you leave it. Now the inner side rollers. Loosen off the jam nut and set your roller so there's some friction on the side. Generally, a one thread showing past the nylon nut is a good starting point. Install cab extensions before installing the cab. On the sling, you're going to see two green dots on the right and left side. You'll need to match the sling extensions to these points and secure them in place with the four 916 bolts on each side. Here you see we've included the green dots on the sling extensions. Just match that up to the sling. Secure into place. This is going to set them at the correct height so when you go to stabilize the cab, you'll have no issues. Here you have the sling extensions mounted to the sling. Thanks for watching. If you have any video requests, please send them to me. I'll do my best to get them on the site.